Well, hello there. I, yeah, this, this isn't happening the whole episode. I can't be bothered. Uh, welcome to another episode of Whiskify TV. I'm your host, Jez. And let's, let's kick this off. It is episode 96. And I obviously have something exciting this evening because I wouldn't be wearing this for no reason. Um, you guys probably saw the hype post. If you didn't, Go check it out, it's on Instagram and Facebook. We are doing the Jack Daniels uh, Bottled in Bond. It is 100 proof, four years old, obviously. Comes in a fancy box. Uh, it's under $100 at the moment. If you are paying more than $100 Australian, you are getting ripped off and you need a better agent. Um, it runs a new chart American oak cask, obviously, and it is 80% corn, 8% uh, rye, and 12% malted barley. So let's get this sucker poured out because it'll take a second to open up. I was able to sit there and do the tasting notes for this bad boy earlier. I really like that it's a, a litre bottle. I'll give you guys a good look at that one too. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys would be able to like see that on the regular scale of things, just because how I didn't spill it. So we are two weeks since I spilled it last as well, in case anyone was keeping track at home. Love the color too, glorious. Okay. Let's see, like an amber, probably a bit darker than hay like a fossil kind of something or other who knows um so yeah let's kick off this cheeky bit of info i write down earlier so it's truly a weird sight for us australians considering the international travel has been closed up for us for basically two years now like if you're able to travel outside of australia in the last two years congratulations you were extremely lucky but for the rest of us bogans and poor folk, I guess, um, yeah, we haven't really been able to go to the airport and do our favorite thing, which is buy alcohol. Now, lucky for us, the team at Brown Foreman decided to help us out and goes, hey, do you know what? You will need this in your life, this being the Jack Daniels 100 proof bottle in bond. I was like, yes, thank you. I will take all of that, which is kind of one of the first brands I've seen that has gone, okay, here is our travel retail bottle. We're gonna let you guys have it. And we're just gonna open it up for everyone. We're probably gonna jack up the price a little bit, considering I think it was 30, I didn't write that down actually. I think it's 39 bucks. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, we're not, we're not trying again. I've been doing this for like three minutes now. We're not trying again. I read online it's about 40 bucks US retail. So it's not too bad considering we're paying under a hundred for it. So win-win. Um, no, that's, that's about it. That's really all I had for the notes. Obviously it being bottled in bond, we're playing with the normal Bottle in Bond rules or the Bottle in Bond Act of 1897, uh, which as I've gone through a hundred and one times, but I'll go through it again. It's single distiller, uh, single distillery, one distilling season being January to June or July to December. Uh, minimum four years federally bonded warehouse. I think that's it. Oh, and 100 proof, obviously, but, you know, who knows? All right, I think that's all I got for this one anyway, so I kind of want to hook into this. As per normal, I was able to sit down and do the tasting notes earlier just to kind of speed this thing along, and um, I'll kind of kick it off. So, as I said, I'm very excited to taste this because I do like the, the Jack Daniels brand if you haven't discovered if you haven't, well, you obviously don't know me that well. So kind of on the nose, there's some, by getting that oak, kind of like some toasted sugars. Oh, 
I want to, I want to say cornbread, but it's like a, it's not really a, a cornbread, but it's the easiest way to describe it. It's kind of like a, a bready note to it. So it's, those bolder flavours are kind of coming through. But as I let it open up earlier and taste it, there was like hints of hay and kind of like a, a florally note once I finished it and kind of let it sit. Not really like finished it. I left like, I don't know, 15 mils in the bottom of the glass and kind of just uh, swelled it around and kind of nosed that out and go, okay, yeah, that's... It's not as harsh. It's very, very light on the nose. For the taste. Mm. So this is where it gets good. It's got a really thick viscosity there. It's very syrupy. It's kind of got this, what I want to say, like a spice note, just kind of working at like the front of the palette there. It's kind of like light pepper, very light. Um, bit of a Kentucky hug there. I don't think uh, Drew will enjoy that one. So if you're, you're watching this, Drew, uh, I might have to drop you over a sample of it. Um, so yeah, very, for the, as I said, for the palette, it's very thick. It's kind of very light as well. Thick, light, syrupy, good. I was expecting like a little bit more pepper, but that must have been that kind of charcoal mellowing. It still runs it through as per normal with all the Jack Daniels stuff, which is good. Oh, I didn't actually realize this. Um, as you guys can see, and you guys have probably bought this before, um, they've got like this tax strip on the, the gift box that they give you. Uh, and it's like on guard until seal is broken. It's got like a hundred proof and then the, uh, the D and it's actually a really fancy box. I know I'm in the middle of tasting, but, um, you know, actually if you got, I'll, I'll put that there and if you guys can read that, you know, feel free to go ahead and uh, see if you can read it. Yeah, I'll just go in for the uh, the taste and then we'll, uh, we'll go through my notes and I'll let you know whether you guys should pick it up. And try not to choke on it. So what I want to say, it's got a, a long finish, which is good. I really enjoy that, uh, especially with this being 100 proof. It's like, yes, bring the, bring the long finishes. That's what we want. We want to sit there, enjoy the whiskey, sip it, long finish. This long finish of like this toasted oak, which is very interesting considering it's only been in the barrel for four years. So obviously they've hit that, that right amount of char and I believe it's just the old number seven on steroids anyway. So hopefully that wasn't important. Um, so yeah, that, that toasted oak, it's kind of got these uh, toasted sugars kind of coming through as well, which is like intermingling, making it all delicious. I'm going for another taste.
you funny enough on that one you're getting that typical Jack Daniels kind of banana note there that I didn't actually write down but you've also got this kind of like a, a wheat bix vibe now if you're not Australian you don't understand but these are like wheated biscuits and I'm kind of like kind of fill it you put milk in the bowl it's like a breakfast cereal just put like milk in the bowl drop some wheat bix in it's kind of like once you drain all the milk out and you're chewing that wheat bix it's kind of what I'm getting there I'll quickly write down banana so I don't forget It is not making good content, let me tell you. Mm. It's got this smoky aspect to it as well. Kind of not to the level of what you'd expect a brimstone to be. Be kind of dial it back it's kind of like a campfire kind of smoke but it doesn't well as it because that campfire smoke's kind of just on the end there but it doesn't fade away to a tannic kind of vibe it fades, it's very soft uh which just kind of rounds everything out and it kind of makes it really enjoyable um i'm not not really surprised because i understand that uh this is Actually, I was reading online that it's the most expensive brand, the whiskey brand in the world. Whether that's true or not, whether it was kind of like a BuzzFeed quiz and you find out what kind of onion you are. Um, but yeah, that I guess that's super exciting for him. Glad I'm drinking the juice, let me tell you. So let's move it on to the buy bar or pass. As you guys gathered, I'm a huge Jack Daniels fan. They put out good juice. This being four years old is absolutely delicious. Um, I'd probably throw it in like a, a cocktail just to be fun, but if not, it makes perfect sipping juice, especially if you don't mind a cheeky Kentucky hug there after you have a few. Now, moving on with that on the same kind of theme, it's a hearty proof for under 100 bucks. We don't normally see something that is hitting that 50% alcohol other than... Uh, we'd probably see Rittenhouse for a little bit under that. Um, but we're picking these up for 90 bucks. Um, if you're paying over 100, you're getting ripped off. Grab them for 100, though. You're killing it. I've seen it online for 90, probably under 90. You'll probably get it for 80 bucks, even. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely good stuff there. Uh, and as I said, it was old number seven on steroids as well. So, it's running that typical Jack Daniels. I've probably actually got... A, oh, I don't actually have a bottle of Jack. Actually, I do. So it runs that iconic Jack Daniels bottle in the one litre. This is obviously one litre. This is 55 standard drinks. Jesus, who are you inviting over for 55 standard drinks? That's mental. 1.75 litres, though. Nuts, but we're not, we're not doing that. And it's a great proof, 50%. Delicious stuff. I'm going to mark this as a buy if you guys didn't guess that. Thank you, guys. So, don't tell me you stopped recording. We're still going. We're about to hit 15 minutes. Thank you, guys, so much for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate it. I do these every week, so it is super fun to tell you guys what I think about the bottle. But please let me know what you think about this Jack Daniels 100 Proof Bottle in Bond because I loved it. Thank you. Love y'all. Happy Whiskey Wednesday. Stay thirsty. Peace.